Cassidy and I'm here today with a Summer Starts at EPL class. Today we're going to learn all about mixing some ingredients you may already have in your kitchen and sculpting them to make some salt dough keepsake. So you might be wondering what is a salt dough keepsake? Well it's a very simple keepsake or ornament that we're going to make with a dough using only three ingredients. We're going to need some flour, some salt, and water. And that's it. So uh, once we've combined all those ingredients, we'll actually be able to mold or sculpt our ornament or keepsake just like you would Play-Doh or even cookie dough. And then we're going to put them in a uh, sheet pan or cake pan, put them in the oven to bake, and then when they're done, you can actually decorate them with paint, glitter, stickers, whatever you want. So other than our flour, salt, and water, what else are we gonna need? We are gonna want to have a spoon, something to stir our dough with. Some popsicle sticks, uh, this can help you sculpt or even stir your dough. You're also going to want some bowls, so something to actually stir your dough in. Uh, and then the last thing that you need to make the actual dough is you might wanna color your dough using food coloring. So I've got some yellow, some red, some green and some blue food coloring. And then I also have another bowl because if you're mixing different colors, you're gonna want separate bowls to put it into. So these are all of my supplies to actually make my dough, but there's some extra things that you can add on top of that. I actually have a whole bunch of glitters that I'm gonna to add to some of my salt dough and see. And you can add glitter afterwards using glue or you can actually add it right to the dough. So let's get started. So the recipe for salt dough is really simple. You're gonna take your bowl and you're gonna add uh, two parts flour to one part salt and one part water. So you probably wanna grab uh, a measuring cup or even a uh, small cup if it's not an official measuring cup to make sure that you're doing equal amounts. So we're gonna start with two parts flour. And we're gonna do our best not to make a mess. So I'm using a one cup measuring, uh, dry measuring cup. So we're gonna do two of these. So now that we have our two cups of flour, we are going to add our one cup, so two parts flour, one part uh, salt, one cup of salt, and you wanna use just regular table salt. Okay, so that looks about good. So we're gonna pour that in there. And we're gonna mix that up so it's all combined. Now, if you wanna color your dough before adding the water, a really good tip to prevent food coloring from getting all over your hands is to actually add the food coloring to your water. So if you just wanna have all one color, uh, you can go ahead and add that color right at the beginning. If you wanna divide your dough into different colors, you can actually do one batch and then divide it into colors later, but you might end up with some food coloring on your hands. So this might be something you might wanna ask a, a parent or guardian to help you out with. I'm actually going to go ahead and I'm gonna dye all of my uh, salt dough green, and you'll find out why in a second. So I'm gonna take some food coloring, some green food coloring, and I have, in this measuring cup, I actually have uh, more water than I need, but I'm gonna dye it right in here and use my my measuring cup. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop a couple drops, and you want a couple because this is, uh, you want it to dye all of that flour and salt. So we're gonna stir that up. So 
So after a while, it might get difficult to stir. Um, this is when you can actually turn it out onto a table and start kneading it. Get rid of our bowl and put it right on the surface and start kneading it a little bit. So kneading is uh, something that you do for doughs to bring them together, to mix all the parts. And I find it really fun to do actually. So if you have your dough, what you're gonna do is you're gonna fold it in half and then push on it with your hand. And then flip it. Fold it in half, push on it with your hand, and flip it. And you're just gonna do that a few times until it's nice and even. Uh, if you find that your dough is a little sticky, so this one got a little bit sticky after kneading it, you can take a little bit more flour, sprinkle it on top. You can sprinkle some flour on your table or your surface uh, and just keep kneading it until it's a good uh, consistency. Okay, so now that our dough is ready to go, we can actually start sculpting it or molding it into the keepsake we want. But before we do, I like to take a few seconds and just decide what I'm gonna make. So I'm gonna take a blank piece of paper and a pencil and I am gonna draw out what I might wanna create. So, I mentioned that I had an idea already when I dyed my dough green. I am gonna try and make Turtle Swift our mascot for Summer Starts at EPL. So that's why I started with a nice green color because I knew everything I was gonna make was gonna be green. Now, salt dough is pretty soft, so you want to think about that. You're not going to be able to make anything that's too 3D. You should be able to get a general shape. And then you can always paint it later to add details. Don't worry too much about adding the details with dough. So I have my, my little turtle swift. So the other type of keepsakes you can make, you can actually make by using a rolling pin and uh, cookie cutters. So I'm gonna roll it out and you don't want it too thick so it takes a long time to bake in the oven. So I'm gonna do about two to three centimeters thick. So now that I've got it all rolled out, I'm gonna take, I think I'm gonna do a nice heart. So we're just gonna punch it out there and just like cookie dough, you can take, take the excess and then peel it up off there. Now it might stick a little bit if you're worried about that. Again, you can put parchment paper or wax paper underneath. Uh, and then if you wanna hang it, you can take a toothpick and just put a little hole right in the center. I'm actually gonna use my pencil to do that. So I'm just gonna make a little hole right here. And that's where we can hang a string on it. Uh, if you have a big round cookie cutter, so I just have a little one, but if you had a big round one, you can actually do hand prints. So you can cut a big circle and put your handprint in it and then bake that and your handprint will actually stay in the, the imprint. That's a really nice keepsake that you could give uh, your mom or dad or grandma or grandpa. We are actually gonna put these in the oven. So these take a while to bake. So you're gonna put them in the oven at 275 degrees Fahrenheit for two to two and a half hours. Welcome back. Now that my Salto ornaments have been baking for about two hours, uh, they're nice and hard. You can hear if you knock on them, they make a nice knocking sound. If you push on them, they're nice and solid. Uh, I've also let them cool for about half an hour to an hour to make sure that they're not warm and they're not going to burn me. And now I'm ready to paint them. You don't have to paint your salto ornaments, especially if you've dyed them with food coloring or put glitter in the dough. Uh, if you can see this one, it has some nice pink and uh, blue sparkles in it. And I'm actually gonna leave, leave one of my hearts unpainted because I think it looks really nice like that. But if you wanna add a few more details, so maybe like my little turtle swifts here, uh, I think they could use a few more details. We are going to use paint and markers and some glitter to add those details in.
done. We've got our Turtle Swift Salt Door keepsakes, we've got some hearts, and I even made one that's nice and glittery with my initial C on it. I can't wait to see what you're going to create with your salt dough, uh, and we hope that you'll share it with us using the hashtag SummerStartsEPL online. There's also uh, tons of other fun activities happening at EPL for Summer Starts. You can see them all at epl.ca slash summer starts. And while you're there, remember to log your reading minutes. Your weekly submission counts as one entry into our grand prize draw. And don't forget to enter our weekly contest to find this year's mascot, Turtle Swift, uh, to win a free book. Remember, share your creations with us at hashtag SummerStartsEPL. 